Bemidbar Numbers 31. And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, saying, Avenge the children of Yasharael of the Midianim. Afterward shall you be gathered unto your people. And Moshe spoke unto the people, saying, Arm some of yourselves unto the war, and let them go against the Midianim, and avenge Yahuwah of Midian. Of every tribe a thousand, throughout all the tribes of Yashar'el, shall ye send to the war. So there were delivered out of the thousands of Yashar'el, a thousand of every tribe, twelve thousand armed for war. And Moshe sent them to war, a thousand of every tribe, them and Et, Pinek, Kak, the son of Elazar, the priest, to the war, with the holy instruments and the trumpets to blow in his hand. And they warred against the Midanim, as Yahuwah commanded at Moshe, and they slew all the males. And they slew at the kings of Midian, beside the rest of them that were slain, namely at Ivri, and at Rechem, and at Sir, and at Chori, and at Riva. Five kings of Midian, Et Bilam, also the son of Beor, they slew with the sword. And the children of Yasharael took at all the women of Midian captives, and at their little ones, and took the spoil of at all their cattle, and at all their flocks, and at all their goods. And they burnt at all their cities wherein they dwelt, and at all their goodly castles with fire. And they took at all the spoil, and at all the prey, both of men and of beasts. And they brought at the captives, and at the prey, and at the spoil unto Moshe. And Eleazar the priest and unto the assembly of the children of Yashar'el, unto the camp at the plains of Moab, which are by the Yardan near Yariko. And Moshe and Elaze are the priest, and all the princes of the assembly went forth to meet them without the camp. And Moshe was wroth with the officers of the host, with the captains over thousands and captains over hundreds, which came from the battle. And Moshe said unto them, Have ye saved all the women alive? Behold, these caused the children of Yashadael, through the counsel of Bilam, to commit transgression against Yahuwah in the matter of Peor. And... There was a plague among the assembly of Yahuwah. Now, therefore, kill every male among the little ones, and kill every woman that has known man by lying with him. But all the women children that have not known a man by lying with him, keep alive for yourselves, and do ye abide without the camp, seven days. Whosoever has killed any person and whosoever has touched any slain, purify both yourselves and your captives on the third day and on the seventh day. And purify all your raiment and all that is made of skins and all work of goat's hair and all things made of wood. And Eleazar the priest said unto the men of war which went to the battle, This is the ordinance of the Torah which Yahuwah commanded at Moshe. Only at the gold and at the silver and at the brass, at the iron, at 
the tin, and at the lead. Everything that may abide the fire, ye shall make it go through the fire, and it shall be clean. Nevertheless, it shall be purified with the water of separation, and all that abides not the fire, ye shall make go through the water. And ye shall wash your clothes on the seventh day, and ye shall be clean. And afterward ye shall come into the camp. And Yahuwah spoke unto El Moshe, saying, Take as the sum of the prey that was taken, both of man and of beast, you and Eleazar, the priest, and the chief fathers of the assembly, and divide at the prey into two parts, between them that took the war upon them, who went out to battle, and between all the assembly. And levy a tribute unto Yahuwah of the men of war which went out to battle, one soul of five hundred, both of the persons, and of the cattle, and of the asses, and of the sheep, Take it of their half, and give it unto El Azar, the priest, for a heave offering of Yahuwah. And of the children of Yashad El's half, you shall take one portion of fifty, of the persons, of the cattle, of the asses, and of the flocks, of all manner of beasts, and give them unto the Leviim which guard the watch of the tabernacle of Yahuwah. And Moshe and Eleazar the priest did as Yahuwah commanded at Moshe. And the booty, being the rest of the prey, which the men of war had caught, was six hundred thousand and seventy thousand and five thousand sheep and threescore and twelve thousand cattle, and threescore and one thousand asses, and thirty and two thousand persons in all, of women that had not known man by lying with him, and the half, which was the portion of them that went out to war, was in number three hundred thousand and seven and thirty thousand and five hundred sheep. And Yahuwah's tribute of the sheep was six hundred and threescore and fifteen. And the cattle were thirty and six thousand, of which Yahuwah's tribute was threescore and twelve. And the asses were thirty thousand and five hundred, of which Yahuwah's tribute was threescore and one. And the persons were sixteen thousand, of which Yahuwah's tribute was thirty and two persons. And Moshe gave at the tribute, which was Yahuwah's heave offering, unto Eleazar the priest, as Yahuwah commanded at Moshe, and of the children of Yashad El's half, which Moshe divided from the men that warred. Now the half that pertained unto the assembly was three hundred thousand, and thirty thousand, and seven thousand, and five hundred sheep, and thirty and six thousand cattle, and thirty thousand asses, and Five hundred and sixteen thousand persons, even of the children of Yashadael's half, Moshe took at one portion of fifty, both of man and of beast, and gave them unto the Leviim, which did guard the watch of the tabernacle of Yahuwah, as Yahuwah commanded at Moshe. And the officers which were over thousands of the host, the captains of thousands and captains of hundreds, came near unto El Moshe. They said, said unto El Moshe, Your servants have taken at the sum of the men of war, 
which are under our charge, and there lacks not one man of us. We have therefore brought at an oblation for Yahuwah, what every man has gotten of jewels of gold, chains and bracelets, rings, earrings, and tablets, to make an atonement for our souls before Yahuwah. And Moshe and Eleazar the priest took at the gold of them, even all wrought jewels, and all the gold of the offering that they offered up to Yahuwah, of the captain of rather of the captains of thousands, and of the captains of hundreds, was sixteen thousand seven hundred and fifty shekels. For the men of war had taken spoil every man for himself. And Moshe and Eleazar the priest took at the gold of the captains of thousands and of hundreds, and brought it into the tabernacle of the assembly for a memorial for the children of Yashara'el before Yahuwah.